Thanks, Chairman. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks uh, the organizers of this workshop for inviting me to this uh, very ex exciting workshop. So here I'm going to talk about a coupled decadal scale IRC interaction theory. The actually the night and AO, AMO, AMO carbon modulants impacts. Uh, I'm Jian Jingli from a College of uh, Global Change and Earth System si Science, Beijing Normal University. Firstly, I would like to acknowledge my co-authors here, Dr. Cheng Sun and uh, Professor Fei Fei Jin from the uh, University of Hawaii. So in this talk, I would like to discuss three uh, questions. The first one is the delayed oscillator model for, for the uh, quality period uh, Rhotic uh, multi decadal variation of the NAO. And this is the time series of NAO index, uh, clearly showing um, multi decadal variation of the NAO and the recent decadal uh, awakening. Actually, there are some uh, uh, many studies to, to show that some uh, factors for you know, uh, such kind of multi decadal variability, such as article CS. Uh, and uh, you know, warming of into Pacific uh, warm pool and the greenhouse gases increase. However, that you know the the mechanisms of the quality six year cycle of NAO is still uh, elusive. Oh. Okay. So uh, here is a risk. Uh, reconstructed an NAO index in the past three uh, centuries. And according to uh, wavelet analysis, you have a very significant quasi 60 year cycle here. And also, this uh, recent decadal weakening of NAO can be explained by this kind of quasi 60 year cycle. And, you know, uh, due to uh, the, the, the observation data of the uh, annual index is very short. We may employ you know, the numerical model to study the relevant mechanisms related to the quality 60 year cycle of NAO. And here is uh, you know, the NAO index uh, in uh, red line and the AMO index blue line, the you know, low pass field NAO index black lines in you know, carbon model and car CCSM4. And uh, uh, according to the, you know, spectral, uh, wavelet uh, spectrum analysis, you have, you know, for uh, both NAO and AMO, very significant quality 60 year cycle. And uh, such kind of a cycle is reasonably well simulated by this model, implying this model can be maybe available to study uh, the relevant, you know, uh, mechanism related to the uh, quality six-year cycle. So here we employ the per simple oscillation pattern analysis (POP) to review dominant patterns of SIT anomaly uh, multi-decadal variability over, you know, North Atlantic region. So the 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 leading mode, you know, the the the, the real part and, you know, uh, imaginary part of uh, POP patterns are, you know, the homogeneous pattern, AMO signal, and, you know, medial uh, tra uh, trapple pattern, which is called North Atlantic trapple net. So according to the time series of, uh, you know, uh, real and uh, imaginary uh, parts, uh, so uh, suggested that the oscillatory uh, uh, sequence of these uh, POPs uh, are from you know, the, the positive net to uh, positive AMO and the negative uh, net phase uh, follows. So the lead lag correlation between NAO and AMO and NAO and uh, uh, net suggests that you know, the net is in phase with uh, NAO and NAO leads you know AMO by around 15 years, while AMO may have uh, negative feedback on NAO. 
So here we uh, hypothesize the three uh, possible mechanisms involved into this uh, call this 60 year cycle. Uh, the first one is the direct effect of the night on the nail. So here's the you know, coupled modes, uh, you know, the RC coupled mode in this uh, you know, uh, CCSM4 model. You know, uh, for the, you know, the atmospheric you know, sea level pressure response to AMO, the homogeneous pattern. However, you know, uh, tonight you have the NAO you know, uh, signal here. So if you run you know, AGCM speed model, uh, to say sea level pressure response to you know AMO and NAT pattern, only NAT can trigger such kind of NAO structure. So that means you know NAO uh, come from this uh, 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 meridional mode of SIT over North Atlantic uh, Ocean. So pos uh, physical processes for this you know NAT uh, on NAO. So NAT contributed in, uh, the, the surface heat flux anomalies and leads to very strong gradient in uh, air temperature. And then you have very strong eddy growth rate. Then uh, storm track intensity increase. And also the, the, uh, the storm track shifts to the northward. According to the wave uh, uh, floor interaction theory, you may have the positive annual phase here. The westerlies should be accelerated. A second process is annual forcing on the AMO. So actually, this uh, t today uh, my, uh, several uh, speakers already mentioned this point, and uh, Thomas and Nor already gave some uh, you know uh, result about the you know the forcing of annual on AMO. Actually, there is a substantial modeling evidence that a nail related wind stress normally can lead to multi decadal variations of the AMO, which in turn produce the aesthetic pattern of the AMO. So, here we employ the MOM5 model to say uh, both AMO can the upper surface temperature response to a nail signal, uh, NAO type uh, driving forcing. The R panel shows, you know, transient uh, uh, response of the AMOC. In the lower panel, uh, panels are, you know, transient response of upper surface temperature. So uh, as time increases, the AMOC intensity increase. Uh, probably after ten years, uh, uh, go go to, uh, you know, steady uh, state, and. Uh, if you look at the uh, spatial uh, pattern over the North Atlantic Ocean, you have very robust uh, AMO structure. So uh, if we employ the uh, carbon model CCSM4 simulation here, you know, NAO leads you know, the AMOC by uh, around 15 years. And the part of you know, NAO can produce uh, can in uh, strengthen AMOC, then you have the, you know, uh, since AMOC is in phase with uh, AMO, you have a positive uh, AMO uh, phase, and vice versa. So uh, the, the third process is an active feedback of AMO on NAT. Uh, uh, because you have, you know, intensification of clockwise heat transport from the AMOC, the uh, the AMO you know uh, shows you know the very strong bare uh, clinic structure, and over the, uh, up, uh, in the upper uh, surface you have the homogeneous pattern here. Due to this AMOC, the positive signal uh, could be uh, propagated from the lower latitude into the uh, lower uh, high latitude and. Uh, in the uh, deep ocean, uh, the negative goes to the uh, southward, and also over high latitude, the the signals uh, go to uh, downward. And after around 15 to 18 years, this structure uh, could become in a bar tropical structure, and uh, you have a negative. Uh, North Atlantic travel phase here. 
So here's a theoretical explanation for the time delay. Since you know, advection uh, caused by AMOC plays a very important role in the SST evolution from the positive AMO to negative net. So the theory, according to scale analysis, the theoretical time delay is around 16 years, very close to the you know, time lag of the night and relative to the AMO. So now he, here is you know, the schematic uh, uh, diagram to show the relevant, relevant mechanism to this uh, called a 60 year cycle of NAO. So actually, positive net can produce positive NAO. And the positive NAO forces the enhancement of the AMOC and leads to the uh, positive AMO phase. And enhanced, you know, AMO continues to affect the, the heat uh, transport. And then after around 15 years, the positive AMO uh, uh, can produce an active night phase. And then you have an active NAO and then finish this cycle around called the 60 year cycle. So based on this kind of mechanism, we uh, build a delayed oscillator, decay oscillator model for NAO, model decay variability. So here is the equation. So according to normal mode analysis for frequency and growth rate, yes. And uh, you have the, if we, uh, yeah, we, we have the, you know, the result for growth rate and frequency, which are closer to the observation. Uh, if we integrate this you know, equation, the numerical solution shows that very clearly causes a six year cycle. So uh, this model may be uh, available for explaining cause a six, six year cycle of NAO of this couple mode. So here, the, uh, we, this couple mode may have very important impacts you know, on the multi-decadal variability of uh, global mean surface temperature. So if we take a look at the trend, you know, uh, northern hemisphere temperature here, uh, very clearly multi-decadal variability, and the lead lag correlation between the NAO index and the trend, the northern hemisphere temperature, shows that the NAO leads not detrained de de NHT by around 15 or 16 years. And here's a correlation map between the SST and the NAO index 16 years earlier showing very robust you know, structure uh, similar to the AM pattern. So based on the Hassmann model, we can input, uh, input the NAO index into this kind of uh, equation to get the the temperature contributed by NAO. You have the in, uh, blue line and the green line is, uh, you know, AMO uh, related northern hemisphere temperature. Both are very close to each other. And based on this mechanism, we can, uh, you know, build a such kind of NAO based prediction model. Here's, you know, hand cost to show the very good performance of this model. And in the future, we may uh, made this kind of prediction. And uh, in the next decade, we, the temperature will fall slightly. Uh, I think this result is in consensus with the north result. Also, this kind of uh, decadal couple mo mode has a uh, very important effects on the southern hemisp hemisphere climate. Here is an example. And uh, in the last three decades, you have very drought over the Australia, Eastern Australia. And this is, uh, the red line is uh, uh, subtropical Eastern Australian rainfall index, and the blue line is NAO index. And the lead lag correlation shows that the NAO leads, you know, this rainfall by around 15 years. And the such kind of, based on the, you know, the mechanism of the carbon mode, the NAO can produce, you know, trigger the AMOC circulation here. The later can modulate the southern ocean, you know, uh, warming and or cooling, and, uh, you know, in fact, the westerly circulation and in fact, the Australia 
uh, climate. And also we can uh, set up such kind of uh, uh, statistical model to make a prediction. This is the, the feed period shows a very good you know, result. And in the future, uh, the rainfall over Australia may uh, go in up, uh, which is good news for Australian people, I think, if it is right. So uh, come to conclusions. In this study, we proposed a couple of decadal scale LC interaction theory, the NIDA, NAO, AMO, AMO coupled mode. And, and we uh, build a delayed decadal oscillator model for explaining the quality 60, 60 year cycle of the NAO. And the such kind of mode, you know, leads uh, decadal northern hemisphere temperature multi decadal variability. And the, is a very important accelerator, decelerator of uh, NHT multi decadal warming or cooling. And more important, maybe an important factor of hiatus. Also, such kind of decadal mode also uh, exerts an uh, influence on southern hemisphere climate, especially the Australian rainfall variation. That's all. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>